Sorry. Hello, SMM5 here, and today I wanted to share some theories and predictions as to what I think is going to happen next in the show saga of SMG4. You know, that thing that's been going on for the past year or so that's led to multiple mini-arcs and big events that have been mostly well made and received? I hope you all enjoy, now let's get into it. My first theory is about what the climax of this saga will look like, and how it can end off in a bang. Some of us think it'll end with an arc, some of us think it'll end with the meme games, and some of us think it'll end with a Watfi. Well, I think it'll end with all three. My theory is that for this to end off with a bang, the climax arc will begin with a war of the fat Italians, transition into an arc where they build up to a confrontation with Puzzle Vision, and it ends with the meme games. And I think this arc will have detective elements to it, because that would fall in line with how the rest of the show saga was built. All of the big events of the show saga fell under different distinct genres to set themselves apart from each other. The It's Gotta Be Perfect movie was of the horror genre, Western Spaghetti was a psychological thriller with the style of a Western movie, and Watfi 2023 was a spy thriller. So it would be fitting for the climax of this saga to involve the gang finally catching on to what's been going on and looking to find out where Puzzle Vision is, and confront him for what's been going on. And I think this saga will end with the meme games. From every piece of evidence displayed in this saga, one fact stems to mind. Puzzle Vision loves to put on a show. So the meme games, which was pretty much the definition of what Puzzle Vision would use to put on a show, just seems like the perfect finale to this saga. Long story short, I think the climax of this arc will start with 2024's War of the Fat Italians, transition into a detective arc where they finally confront Puzzle Vision face to face, and it all ends with the meme games. Personally, I hope I'm right. My second theory stems on what the structure of this year's events and stories will look like. I predict it'll follow the same structure as last year, where we have one mini-arc leading up to a movie near the beginning of the year, another mini-arc leading up to a movie around the late middle of the year, and hopefully Theory 1 and Watfi in the later part of the year. There are a lot of noteworthy candidates that these arcs could be about, of who will serve the main roles and get the big character development, and what plot points may be brought back to spotlight, but in my opinion there are two that stand out, the first of which I want to talk about being Melanie. I think it's quite obvious what they would do with Melanie. Her manga plot point was brought back in Death Row and it would be weird for there not to be any follow-up to that at all. When taking into consideration that she wants to make Axel proud, I think it's pretty obvious where Puzzle Vision would come in. He could very easily tempt and influence Melanie to wanting to get better at writing manga and cause her to go obsessed and crazy like SMG4 did in the It's Gotta Be Perfect movie. Except rather than a horror style, I think they could go for a different genre and style for this arc to separate it from the other movie. I don't know what my pick for what to do with an arc slash movie genre would be, heck, I don't even know if this would need to end with a movie. But if they do something with Melanie, I trust it will be good. The second character that comes to mind should be an obvious one. Shroomy. And my theory on what they could do with him is actually really interesting. In fact, I don't actually think Puzzle Vision would need to influence him at all. And that this mini arc would cause a window where Puzzle Vision isn't in control of the chess pieces and it becomes the catalyst for the gang finally gaining awareness and lead up to the climax, which I will explain later. Because Shroomy's anti-Shroomy plot point was never properly resolved, and as we all know, anti-Shroomy has a thing for hunting demons. And guess where we've seen one of those lying around? I think Anti Shroomy is going to find out about Demon Peach and go after her. Peach feels genuine malice for the gang for leaving her down there and not caring about her at all, and Anti Shroomy loves hunting demons, so a well made fight between them would have a lot of tension and stakes. And considering the guilt the gang feel for leaving her down there, particularly from Mario, this would make for a very interesting plot for a movie and arc. The reason Puzzle Vision might not see this coming is because he wouldn't need to play a role in making this happen, and in all of his events he's added a factor to causing each event to happen. 
In the It's Gotta Be Perfect movie, he gave SMG4 the demon keyboard. In the Western Arc, he gave One Shot Ren the Western Simulator. In Watfi 2023, he let Marty know SMG3 had a secret recipe for pizza. And to all of them, save for maybe Marty, he was able to influence them in their present circumstances, playing off of SMG4's insecurities, Ren's desire for glory, and Marty's greed to push them into doing something extreme. But the thing is, given how sadistic he is already, anti Shroomy would not need influencing at all to go after Demon Peach, and it would be natural for him to know what happened to the castle and to find out that there's demon stuff in there. Anti Shroomy would not need to be manipulated to follow the story, so Puzzle Vision might not see this X Factor coming, which could also lead to a defining weakness of his that would lead to his defeat. Whatever the case, I'm trusting SMG4 to make something good happen. Those are my theories as to what will happen next on SMG4 during the show saga. In short, ish, my predictions for the next stories is that Melanie and Shroomy will get the spotlight this year, and the saga will end with an arc, starting with Watfi and ending with the meme games. Though, there is always a possibility of making an arc where they do something else, like introducing Whisk. Sure, that would undoubtedly be a mega arc and feel repetitive to some people, but we've gotta introduce the most interesting side character of Sunset Paradise somehow but what they actually end up doing is still up in the air. Maybe they'll do something with Melanie, maybe they'll introduce Whisk, maybe they'll finally take the perfect opportunity to do something with Shroomy, or maybe they'll do something else entirely. Whatever the case, I hope it will be well executed and be great like the other show saga stuff. That is all for today, I hope you all enjoyed. Do you think any of these theories are likely or good? And what do you think will happen during what remains of the show saga? Comment your thoughts below, I would love to know what you think as well. Be sure to like and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you all for watching, see you all next time.